All the Dixon County, December 9th, 2021. Regular meeting to order. Please take the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Approval of the agenda with three additional items. Here's scheduling public hearing for request to declare road minimum, road minimum maintenance in Liberty Township. Next one will be request executive session for purposes of non elected personnel for 15 minutes. And third one would be appointment to the 911 County Advisory Board 2022. I'm going to be approved the agenda as amended. I'll second that. I'm moving second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Consent agenda. Minutes of the December 2nd meeting. Payroll, added taxes of $1,049.80 and abatements of $7,961.96. I move to approve the consent agenda. Been seconded. I'll second it. Move and second it. Any other discussion? Not all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Looks fair. Commissioner's comments. Committee reports, Ron. Uh, I'll be spending some time next week with the Juvenile Detention Center and go over some of the reports there, and that, that'll be about it. Uh, this morning before the regular meeting, we had uh, department heads and elected officials uh, gave their monthly reports and met the new jail administrator. I can't think Still of from Kinsey. Captain Kinsey. I'm from Ellis, yeah. Ellsworth. I uh, did attend the Soil Conservation Service road tour last Monday. I uh, went from 3600 Avenue down to 500 Avenue. And, yeah, it's been about five and a half hours. Uh, seen a lot of good work being done by the, the Soil Conservation Service. There was a discussion out of Elliott. Uh, some of the landowners want their ditch to be part of a waterway. So, and, Asked about the county, I said, Well, we only have 200, 300 mile road, so you're gonna have to work with the township, but they want to let you there, it be the waterway too. And stuff. so, good meeting. We have no presentation of petition to proclamations, other uh, public comments. We have nobody. I got one online. So. Anybody? Rhonda? No. No. Moving on. Uh, report to any officer, Brad. Okay, I did receive a, a letter addressed to Lynn this week from FEMA that uh, gave us an update. The, uh, the the updated floodplain maps have been approved uh, for the next step. I think that this is the final step, if I understand correctly. So now they are out there for a 90 day uh, observation and protest period for the final op opportunity for the public to voice their input. If uh, after the 90 days there's no objection, I believe that it goes to final approval. And it, just in a little historical information, we've been working on that, uh, updating the county's floodplain maps for several years now. Doesn't seem like it, but it was certainly started before COVID. And uh, we had attended a number of meetings around the, around the county and the communities. Uh, and John Goff was extremely instrumental in helping helping guide us through some of those processes. And it was nice to have a, a, an engineer there on our side that has experience with water issues, because it certainly, I don't think the, the, the people will ever realize how much that will benefit them when it comes to uh, the floodplain maps and making sure they were accurate. And, and we even attended the meeting in Solomon and I believe uh, in Enterprise or Chapman, Chapman, uh, where we asked the public to bring photographs, videos, uh, or any documentation of what the, the actual floods looked like back in the in the 50s, the night in 93 and 2006, and when we had them, because there's no better record of how to predict the flood than look at the actual floods when they occurred. And many of the maps that are currently in place didn't match what took place, and so we were able to get them adjusted 
to our favor uh, so that uh, there were a lot of areas that were taken out of the flood, the, uh, flood zone. So uh, we're looking forward to having those out and uh, and that way Tim can utilize those and he is our certified floodplain manager for the county and we can have some, uh, some more current uh, maps to go by. So uh, we talked in the work session a little bit about the year-to-date budget reports. You've got those. Um, Caw Valley provided me an updated estimate on the health department uh, parking lot out here. Uh, and if it's in your packet, as you can see, it's a little bit closer and, and I think more realistic as far as what the, if we were living in, a, in normal times, we would expect to pay for that project. Uh, I think I had told you that, you know, of course the first number came in very low. When I went back and talked to a wildcat who bid it, they did have, or we had Caw Valley core drill that out there. I think they did 19 cores. And we, so we know exactly how far down before they hit dry material. And in some places it's three and four feet. So that all has to be excavated out and refilled with, uh, with uh, gravel and, and compacted. And so the excavation portion is extremely expensive. So bottom line is I think it's more appropriate for what we would see under normal times. We're not living in normal times, uh, much as like we've seen on other projects, most recently the Rain Road Bridge. And so the bid that we got being a little bit higher, I would say is pretty close to being the same percentage we saw on Rain Road, you know, if you put the numbers to it. So it may be the best we can get, uh, but we'll look at that after the first year and and uh, see. We also have a couple other options that aren't reflected in those, one of which when they go get that gravel at, at the quarry and woodbine, they would just put it on our tab. We get it at a better rate because we buy so much year round. So that would save us a little bit of money. There may be an option if time allows that we could haul the gravel too and save some money as well if, if the contractor is willing to let us do that. So that could knock a chunk off there. I don't know how much that would be, but we'll look into it when the time comes. So I attended the, uh, the first public strategic planning meeting for the Lake uh, Harrington Lakes last night in Harrington. Uh, they had a reasonably good turnout. I think there were probably 50 or 60 people there. And I gave them an opportunity to go and look at the different types of development or, or potential out there at the lake. And then they utilized the, the colored dots, put it on the black or the ones you don't like. And so the uh, consultant that they have hired will go back and put that data together and come back and report back to their city commission. So but we're, we're glad that they've made us a part of that and invited us to that. So we'll keep you updated as that progresses. And let's see, we reported in the work session that we are moving dispatch on January 25th. Uh, we're confident that we'll be ready to do that. We may not have the elevator done. We may, I don't know, but we've, we've come up with some plans to where we can work around that for dispatch. Since it's not a public office and we don't have to worry about being accessible to the public, we have the flexibility that it can move. That'll allow the, the contractors to get in and start working in the garage and get it uh, get it finished on time as well. We talked about the Holiday Inn uh, groundbreaking next week and I'll RSVP us for that. We talked about the advisory board, we'll talk about it in a little bit and then County Government Day coming up in Topeka in January. So that's about all I've got at this point. Thank you, Brad. Any questions? Ron? I no questions. Uh, we're still moving forward with uh, the service of process Primarily on out of state uh, defendants for the tax sale. And so, as soon as we have that concluded, why we'll be asking the court to set that for uh, tax sale and move that to a conclusion. That's all I have right now. Thank you, Doug. Uh, notice of communications are with no mail. We have no resolutions, introduction of considerate resolutions, no unfinished business. Other business we've added to the agenda was consider. Scheduled public hearing for a request to declare road minimum maintenance in Liberty County. Uh, this is a uh, petition request that you received through uh, Jeannie from Liberty Township. The board members, all three of them, have signed it, and they're requesting that uh, you consider converting three pieces of roadway to minimum maintenance in their township. Uh, the first one is. Uh, one mile, the first one is from the intersection of 1700 and Yard Road to 
to 1800 yard road. So it would be yard road between that in that mile. The other two miles are uh, on Sage Road from 1400 to 1600. And so the process for this, as we've done before many times, is we would we would uh, you would pass the notice of hearing, and uh, that would give us time to get it published within, in the newspaper, and then we would set that hearing. I've scheduled it on the 27th of January, which should give us plenty of time to get it advertised, and uh, and research it, and make sure everything's right. Obviously, minimum maintenance is not something. It's nearly as critical as if we're if we're vacating a road, which once you give it up, you can't get it back. If you decided to do minimum maintenance, 10 years down the road, something develops out there, we can always go back and convert it back very easily. So, but this does uh, uh, meet the, the township's requirement, and then we would have a public hearing on the 27th of January. I'll make a motion that we make have a public hearing to vacate the Liberty Hall, Liberty Township roads. I'll second that motion. Been moved and seconded. Any other discussion? We don't normally send it on minimum maintenance, but we just publish it in the paper. Okay. And then, of course, I have Martin take a look at it and make sure that for a closing road, we'd have to. Uh, yeah, if we were if we were vacating, then we send it to everybody within five miles, five miles, and, and all the people that we know that reside within that area. So, and also the landowners, because. Well, I'll tell you what, it never surprises me that when I'm doing this research, the number of landowners that live in other states that own land in our county. I mean, there's a lot of people that buy, buy land in this county and they're from California and Florida or whatever. So. No discussion, call for the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. Uh, appointment of Paul Frelick to the county 911. 911. County Advisory Board for 2022. I'll make a motion. And move. So I'll second it. <laughs> second it. Any other discussion? If not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now we have a request for executive session for non elected personnel for 15 minutes. Um, I'll move that we go into executive session at 11 14. 15 minutes. I'll second that motion. Been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. That would be with Doug. Okay. And I don't anticipate there'll be action when we come back out. So I have rejected session back in regular session. No action was taken. Ron have anything? I don't have anything. Make a motion to adjourn. Right, motion to adjourn. Second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Stand adjourned. Ha, ha, ha.